Alright makeup geeks, I have a different look for you guys today. You know that I'm very girly girl, I usually do like smoky eyes and soft pink lip. I wanted something totally different, focusing on this lip color. How cool is this purple lip? It's like this grayish purple color that's so vampy and edgy for fall. I love it. It's a new one put out by NARS. So I wanted to do a look focusing on that. So this is what I came up with. It's something very like edgy and still like has that rocker eye where I smudge a lot of liner around the eyes and then just rock the lip, warm cheeks. So this is what I came up with. Enough flabbing on that. Let's get started on our edgy vampy look. to start our edgy makeup what you need first is a black eyeliner pencil it doesn't even matter which one we're going to use it to dip into the makeup geek immortal gel liner it's just a true black one all i'm going to do is start with the waterline so i'm going to pull up and line the upper waterline and then pull down and we're going to line the inner waterline Okay, now take that eyeliner some more. I'm gonna use a mirror because I can't see right now. <laughs> You're going to line around the entire lash line. That's gonna be our base for all of this darkness here. That's gonna give that edgy look. It's just black all around the eye. So you're just going to run it along the lash line, upper and lower, and you can go all the way in. If you feel like that's too heavy, stop about halfway. Okay, now you guys are going to take the Makeup Geek pencil brush, looks like this, and the Eyeshadow Galaxy. We're going to dip our brush into this. You don't want to smudge it with black. That's what's going to give you that panda eyes where it's like super black all around your eyes. Always go a shade lighter, and so that's why I'm doing like this gunmetal color. You're just going to smudge this on top of the liner to kind of smoke it out, and I'm going to bring it out a little further on the edge of the eye like that, and then start blending it upwards. Same thing with the lower lash line, just smudge it out. Okay, now switch to a little bit larger brush. You can use the Outer V brush or a MAC 219, just something a little bit larger. Now we're gonna go in with a color um, Taupe Notch. Let me show you guys. That's this one right here. You need something that's just a little bit lighter and cool tone. So I'm gonna take that. We're gonna smudge this slightly above that black liner. And I'm going to blend it a little bit higher in the outer part of the eye. And then leave all of this in here blank. We want most of the color, I don't know if you guys can see, out here on the outer part of the eye. Okay, now you guys are going to take a tan color that's kind of a cool tone one. I'm going to use this one, which is Barcelona Beach. I'm going to take a crease brush, and all we're going to do is put this on the outer part of the eye on that crease. Keep, again, most of the color right out here. Same brush, wipe it off really well. Go in with a color that's close to your skin. For me, that's Vanilla Bean. And we're just going to blend this under the brow bone. If you guys need to touch up the lash and make it a little bit darker, you can go back in with that pencil brush and a black eyeshadow. I'm using Makeup Geek Corrupt. And all you have to do is smudge it really close to the lash line just to darken it a little bit more. Okay, since the eyes are so dark, you guys, and it's all cool tone, it can make you look very aged and very kind of um, tired sometimes. You have to brighten up the inner tear duct. Take that same Outer V brush, wipe it off really well. I'm going to go in with Bling. And we're just going to put this near the inner tear duct to open the eyes and brighten them a bit. So put it right here. Just a little pop. Take a little more, put it under the lower lash line. Okay, now apply your mascara. Okay, now for the cheeks, you guys. I don't know if you know this, but you don't have to get separate contour powders. All you guys have to do is get a pressed powder that's two or three shades darker than your normal skin. So I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte one. This is number 90, Caramel. I'm obviously not Caramel, but it works amazing for contouring. Take your Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush, and this makes contouring so easy also. But what you're going to do is just pat this right under your cheekbone and come up alongside the temple. Same brush, wipe it off. Now it's really important you guys because everything is so cool toned on your face. You have to wear a warm blush, so wear a coral or a peach color. Let me give you a couple options. I really like the Makeup Geek one in Summer Fling. And then the other one, if you have light to medium skin, Smitten is really good. So I'm going to use a little mixture of both. I'm going to start with Summer Fling. Just take a little bit because I it is a little bright on me. I'm just going to pat it off. For the cheeks, 
keep the top part blank for a highlighter. I want the blush to be really close to the contour powder. So just a teeny bit above that contour powder. You see how bright that is? I'm gonna wipe it off and go in with um, Smitten. Put this on top, a combination between the two. You see how it warms up my face a little bit? And then leave this top part blank because now what we're gonna do is switch to a cheek highlighter brush and we're gonna go in, where'd my highlighter go? Oh, Hourglass. Do, do, do. Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. It's beautiful, it gives a gorgeous glow to the skin. So take that. You're just going to stipple this right here on top of the cheekbones for a beautiful glow. Okay, so do you guys see how my face is nice and warm? So that way all this cool tone stuff, it kind of balances it out. I always like to pair up um, cool tones with warms. So we'll do a separate video on that later. Okay, enough blabbing. Are you ready for this lipstick? Are you ready? <laughs> it is the most fun color. This is very vampy, but I love it because it's so unique. I haven't seen any lipsticks this color, so good job, Nars. This is the color Dominique. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Let's do a swatch in the back of the hand. It's a true purple color, but it has almost a grayish undertone to it. It's a very cool tone purple. So obviously this is a little vampy. I wouldn't say wear this every day, but it's really fun for fall, like on the weekend. And I love pairing this up with that smudgy, kind of edgy smoker eye. Smoker eye. <laughs> Smoky eye. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and there you go. Is that not the coolest lip color ever? I think it's so vampy. I don't know. I really like this one. It's going to be my new lip color for fall. But obviously, if you guys think this is too much, you can switch out the lip color for like a corally pink or just a true bright pink, and it will balance everything out and make it not so vampy if that's what you're not going for. So anyways, enough blabbing. Have fun with your makeup, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you make it feel like, like